no modest tastes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. We're back on budget. I get the producer if I can. As, Ca well, as Carol, Carol, I'm going to interrupt you because we're having problems with your mic. But as Carol downgraded her vehicle, so did all the technology. Yes, we've did had you to notice? pay for the Lamborghini with the microphone. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, let's try again. Carol, can you talk to us? Let's see if your microphone's working a bit better. Yes, I can hear. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. It's much, much better. Can you hear I me now, now, Get the, um, technolo Good. technology of that super, you know, advanced vehicle that you were riding was interfering <laughs> with, the, with our technology. And I don't want to worry, I'm, but there's a bear behind you. Uh, do you know, I was... There is. That's Pudsy. Pudsy's staying <laughs> well behind as well. I just said to the producer, can you get me something nice to drive? Maybe the Aston Martin Vulcan, one of 24 made in the world. And he found me a lawnmower. Honestly, I'm getting off it actually. The weather today is actually rather nice. Here we've got lots of sunshine at Carfest South and across many parts of the UK. We also have lots of sunshine. It's a beautiful day ahead. Pleasant, not quite as hot as it was yesterday, but there are some showers, showers across northern and western Scotland. So if you look at the forecast at nine o'clock across the country, we have got that sunshine across eastern and southern parts of Scotland, but the showers persisting in the northwest. Some of them have been heavy. Across northern England, heading down towards the Midlands, well, we're looking again at some sunshine. That extends into East Anglia and the southeast towards Hampshire. Just a wee bit of a hangback of cloud across East Anglia, Essex and Kent and then as we drift over towards the southwest of England again we're looking at some sunshine and pleasantly warm the temperatures are now starting to pick up for Wales beautiful start to the day as well as it is across Northern Ireland you might just catch the odd shower in Northern Ireland but if you do you will be very unlucky now, as we go through the course of the day, we hang on to the showers across the northwest, some of them merging and pushing northwards, forming a band of rain across the north of mainland Scotland and the Northern Isles. But for most, pleasant, sunny, warm, temperatures up to about 27, somewhere in East Anglia and the southeast, but generally we're looking at up to about 25. Now, as we head on through the evening and overnight, we still will have a few showers left in the northwest. Most of us will have a dry night, some clear spells, some mist and fog patches forming as well. And by the end of the night, well, we'll have some thicker cloud coming up across southern counties. Not as an oppressive night as the one just gone across the southeast, but still temperatures only dropping to about 16 to 18. And then as we head on into tomorrow, we start with some well scattered showers across parts of Hampshire, Dorset and Devon. They'll be replaced by some rain coming up across southern counties of England, pushing across other parts of England and Wales. It's not Northern extent still open to question, but for Scotland and for Northern Ireland, we are looking at some sunny spells or bright spells and a few showers. Temperatures tomorrow down a touch on today, but worth mentioning some of that rain could be heavy and thundery. And then as we move into Sunday, we lose the remnants of the rain from the east of England. There will be quite a bit of cloud left behind at times, but equally there'll be some sunshine around as well and just a few showers with lighter winds. Then as we head on into Monday, if you happen to have Monday off, well, it's a day of bright spells, sunshine and some showers, but fewer showers now than we were thinking earlier on. So all in all, Naga and John, the weekend forecast when we lose the rain across England and Wales isn't too bad at all. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Carol, you know, you've been inspiring lots of our viewers um, to get in touch as they're going to various festivals around the country. I know you'll enjoy hearing this. We'll talk to you later. Um, you've been